what's common between Deepika Padukone and Guru Dutt? Their last name. Connection register nahi hua. Are because Guru Dutt's real name is not Guru Dutt. It's Vasant Kumar Shiv Shankar Padukone. Surprised? Well, wait for more as we tell you interesting facts about Guru Dutt's life. Guru Dutt acted and directed masterpieces like Kagas Ke Phool and Pyasa. But before Bombay became his jaan, Guru worked in Calcutta as a telephone operator in a Lever Brothers factory. Telephone operator to a tour. Guru Dutt's travelled quite a long journey. But even an actor as good as him did not straight away get the lead role. Guru's first time on screen was in a small role. The movie was Chand, released in 1944. For a few years, Guru worked as an assistant director and choreographer. But in between, got the time to write the script for Pyasa. More radio work happened. Then, an actor told Guru to direct his next film. The actor was Devanand. Guru Dutt directed Devanand in Bazi. The movie became a big hit. After directing Devanand in another hit film, Jal, Guru Dutt became the leading hero in his third directorial film, Baz. Baz was not a hit, but through that, Guru Dutt found his dream team. Writer Abrav Alvi, comedian Johnny Walker, and actress Vahida Rahman. Ugly two films with the same team saw great success, Aad Paar and Mr. and Mrs. Pachman. But Guru Dutt's big masterpiece was yet to come. In 1957, he came out with Pyasa, a film he directed, starred in, and produced. Guru Dutt wrote his film based on his own days of struggle. The movie starred Vahida Rahman opposite Guru Dutt. Vahida ji also featured in Kagas Ke Phool, Guru Dutt's third film as actor director. Rumors say they were lovebirds, which affected Guru Dutt's marriage with star singer. Geeta Dutt. Kagas Ke Phool was the last film Guru Dutt directed in 1959. The director in Guru Dutt was pained that the film did not work at the box office, but there was no handicap in his craft. Even today, the movie is called one of the most iconic Indian films. Guru Dutt continued acting and producing films. In 1962, his film Sahib, Bibi, or Gulab. Was a critical and commercial hit, but things were not good in Guru Dutt's personal life. Him and Geeta Dutt separated in 1963. Geeta took their children and started living separately near Mehboob Studios. Guru Dutt was all alone in his apartment in Pedder Road. On October 10, 1964, Dutt was found dead in his apartment of an apparent suicide attempt, mixing sleeping pills and alcohol together. Guru Dutt's death was a big shock to Indian cinema. He left behind a heartbroken Geeta Dutt, who had a nervous breakdown after his death. In his short life of 39 years, Guru Dutt gave so much to cinema. How many Guru Dutt films have you watched? Let us know in the comments below.